um, fifth grade lesson 23, and we're on, we're doing recognizing halves. Okay, and so I'm going to draw some pictures up here for you to see what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just take a few circles. I'll do four of them. Okay, and I'm going to cut them in different slices. So let's say we had four pizzas, and I decided to cut them differently. This one I'm just going to cut one time across. So that, okay, and we'll fill in one side. This shows one out of two, correct? Which means half. Do you see that? All right, now let's look at this one. Instead of cutting it into twos, one, two, I'm gonna cut it into fours. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna fill in half again. When I look at this one, what is half as a fraction written? Um, two fourths. Two fourths, okay? Now it still means a half, okay, because it's half of the pizza, but because I broke it up into fours, two of the four is what makes up the half, right? This time I'm gonna cut it up into eights, okay? Now I kinda messed up on the, didn't quite get them even, okay? But I'm gonna still fill in. What makes up a half this time? Four eighths. Very good. Now I'm gonna attempt to draw 10 of these. Okay, there's 10 of them. And one, two, three, four, five. Five out of 10. Okay, so what do you notice about each of these? What is each circle actually showing? Half. Half, very good. Now, what I want you to see is let's look at the numbers. What do you notice about this number and this number? What do you notice about this number and this number? What do you notice about this number and this number and then this number and this number? They're all even. Okay, they are all even, very good, okay? But five is half of 10. Four is half of eight. Two is half of four. And one is half of two. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we can recognize that five tenths is actually really one half or just half because Half of 10 is five. You see what I'm saying? Look at this number. And this is actually gonna be one of your problems in your lesson practice, okay? But um, it's gonna be sort of like this, okay? So let me show you a picture, okay? What if I decided to cut a pizza into 18 slices and I were to fill in nine? Do you think that's half of the pizza? Yes, why? Um, because nine is half of 18. So we can recognize it real easily just by looking at it because if we know that half of 18 is nine, then we know this is half of the pizza. Do you see what I'm saying? All right, try this number. What if I cut the pizza into 50 slices and I were to fill in 25 of them? Would this be half of the pizza? Yes. Yes, because half of 50 is 25. Do you see how it works? Okay, try this one. This would be really hard to do to cut a pizza in 100, <laughs> but let's say we did, and I were to fill in 50 of them, would that be half the pizza? Yes. Yes, because half of 100 is 50. All right, let's look at this one. I cut the pizza into 20, 25ths, and I were to fill in 10 of them. Is that half the pizza? No. No, okay. Half would be something like 12.5. Okay, which we're not even going to talk about that. So, would this be less than half or more than half? If yes. half, yes, very good. So, as you can see, so if I had a comparison symbol, for example, this. And I want to ask you, which one is bigger than the other or which one's smaller? We know that the, this is less than half, right? That's what you just told me. We know that this is half. So, which one's smaller? Um, the first one? This one. Because we know that it's less than half. You see what I'm saying? Okay, let's try one more, Eli, and that's the end of the lesson. Okay, let's try one more. You're going to compare this with this. Now, as you can see, the pizzas are broken up differently. That's still okay. Let's just look at this and tell. 
Is this half of the pizza by looking at this one? Uh, yes. Yes, because four is half of eight, so we know that it's half the pizza. Okay, what is half of 12 slices? Six. Okay, so it, we've only got five of them filled in. So is this less than half? Yes. Yes, so this one's less than half, and this one is half. So which way would I put my arrow, my comparison symbol? With the four and eight. Right. What? Which the one's four bigger? Eight. Which one's bigger? Four and eight. Yes, very good. So that's exactly how you draw it. You see how we did that, Eli? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're just kind of learning how to recognize with your eyes, recognize halves by looking at it. Okay? All right. That's lesson 23. Pretty simple.